In amateur radio practice, it is very often necessary to wind various coils. These could be step-down or step-up transformers, chokes, or even Tesla high-voltage transformers. When winding them, you need to be very careful and follow many rules. One of them is to wind the wire turn by turn. It is impossible to lay the wire chaotically, overlapping and creating a web. If the voltage supplied to the coil is low, for example 12 volts, then you can do it this way. But if the voltage is high, then this method will no longer work. Let's figure out why. Let's say I'm winding some kind of coil. It has 220 turns and is powered by 220 volts. It turns out that on one turn I will have a voltage drop of 1 volt. Thus, between each turn there will also be a voltage of 1 volt. If I take a voltmeter and connect one of its ends to the coil, and the second one will lead from the beginning to the end, then the voltage on the voltmeter will increase. Thus, the voltage between the first turn and some middle one will be 110 volts. And between the first and last there will naturally be 220. It turns out that as long as I lay the turns exactly between them, there will be a low voltage and I don't need to be afraid of an insulation breakdown. But if I lay the wire chaotically, it may turn out that the first turn overlaps with the last and there will be a high voltage voltage between them. The wire insulation may break through and result in a short circuit. Although the wire for winding such coils is covered with varnish insulation and, according to various documentation, can withstand a breakdown of several kilovolts, in practice, everything is not always so good. Even new transformers or power tools can easily burn out from an interturn short circuit. Well, if you are a radio amateur and run around by yourself, then the likelihood of a breakdown will be even greater since the wire that we usually use at home is no longer new, but was removed from some other electrical equipment. But there are also cases when, even with proper winding of the wire, ends with high voltage can meet each other. For example, this can happen if the winding is wound in two layers. Look, I'm wrapping the first layer. Then from the end of it I will need to start the second layer. It turns out that it will end near the beginning of the first layer. Thus, between the first turn of the first layer and the last turn of the second layer there will be a voltage of 220 volts. In addition to this, each turn from the first layer will touch a turn from the second layer, where it can also penetrate the insulation. To prevent this from happening, additional insulation is sometimes added between the layers. This is usually either duct tape or paper. If there are even more layers of winding, then dielectric material is also placed between them. So let's summarize. When rewinding the reel, be sure to be diligent and take care of the quality of the winding. Lay the wire turn to turn and use spacers to eliminate the possibility of breakdown. Perhaps this will be a key factor in the reliability of your product. That's all for today. Subscribe to my channel, like, Ask questions in the comments if someone doesn't understand something and for now everyone.